show you what's going on here. We have our bunches of flowers. We're going to use purple and white today for this one. And also a serrated knife so that I can cut this foam to fit inside the bottom. And I have a little sign that pops in there and a butterfly that I put together and it's on a, a stick so we can just stick it in there. Of course, our snips, scissors, our bow that I put together to match the birdhouse. And the birdhouse I got from Michael's. These are pretty cool because they're just a dollar. And I added a little bird to it and put some paint on it. So I think it turned out pretty cool. So let me get everything zoomed in here so you can see what I'm doing. And if you don't have our supplies, go to the website at 2ljdesigns.com and click on the blog. And the latest blog is up with the birdhouse on it. And you can print it out and get your supplies if you want to do this later. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this foam and stick it in the bottom. and try to set it in there so it doesn't take up so much foam and so much moss because I have a big thing of moss and if you've ever watched any of my other lives you'll you know that we have this huge box of moss that we always use so I'm just going to stick some of that in the very bottom And then I'm going to put this piece in here. I'm going to cover it up with some moss too so that you don't see it from no matter where you're looking at it from. You can buy this loose in a bag at any of the craft stores or you can buy it in a sheet. Sometimes the sheet is better when you're working with different things. So it just depends on what the project I'm doing. I like to put the foam in there because sometimes I have to jab down the, all of the picks and greeneries. It just makes it stick a little bit better. Hi, Mary. Glad you got to pop in this morning. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I should have put this on. I got another stick. I'm trying to glue down this birdhouse. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom. And then I'm going to cut my stick. So it's a little bit smaller. And then we're going to let that sit for a minute. See if we can get it to stay in there. There we go. Just let that dry. I don't want it to fall over. So now we're going to take our flowers here and start putting some greenery in. I'm sorry if I keep popping in with the camera here. It's hard to get situated without getting in the view. 
So I have a little bit of green right here. And I like to get my greenery in bunches and then cut them all apart. So I'm only using little bits and pieces. I don't have to stick the whole thing in there. And I like the ones that look a little bit more realistic, like these. which is they're kind of like um, almost like a verbena leaves. So I'm just going to cut these over. And then we're going to start placing them in the corner. And you can see by my example, I just put the greenery on one side so that I can offset it on the other side with a sign. So we're going to just start putting these in everywhere. And I like to put glue on the bottom so that it doesn't come apart as easily. Sometimes they pop out. It's not a big deal. You can just pop them back in there. But I like to try and get them as secure as I possibly can when I'm putting them in. Especially when I'm sending them out because you never know if they're going to get jostled around a lot in the box. And fall apart. Hi Wendy. I'd say good morning to you, but it's afternoon now. Hopefully it isn't raining for you today. So we're just gonna keep popping these in there. Glue them to each other and then kind of layer it in. And if you haven't been to our website in a while, I have it set up now that you can't just go in and, and look out all of our instruction sheets. You have to put in your email address and join our newsletter so that I can send you back a password so that you can get into the library. It's free to join. It's just easier if I can notify you and let you know that we have a new live or a new post. So we'll get some grass in here in the back. I like to put some of the taller stuff in the back side of it. I'm going to try to use some of this purple. I tried to match it up as much as I could with the ribbon that we're using today. And I like to place these in before I put glue on them so that I can check to see if that's where I want it or not. Because if not, you have to tear it all apart and make a mess. I've made my fair share of messes. I really like this wreath when I saw it. It's kind of unusual. You don't ever see them with the baskets on the front like this. And I found this one at Michael's. They got a pretty good deal. It was, it was on discount. I think I used my 40% off too, which is nice. So I'm just going to keep adding here. Layering it as we go. I love all the spring colors this year. They're really brilliant. And our tulips are blooming. I posted a picture yesterday of our tulips. They look so nice. All the daffodils are done. And today it's official allergy day. I had to take my allergy medicine first thing this morning. So I'm going to put some white down the front here. And you can pop the stems off of these. They don't have to be put in here with the stem. If it's too tall, you can just take it apart. 
because once you stick it down inside the moss, you won't be able to see that it doesn't have a stem to glued in. some of this grass. I don't know if I can get that in there. Let's see. Let's see if I can cut some of this bottom. I love my lineman snips. My husband's so sweet. Gave them to me. They cut through anything like butter. And if you'd like our glue gun holder, which I absolutely love, 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 that's on our website too. You can, you can go get one. I put some more greenery in the back, I think. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just whatever looks good. I try to make it look as natural as I possibly can. Sometimes I get it all put together. Or I put the bows all together and I don't like it. So I rip it all apart and start over. I'm just going to fit this in here. Put some greenery in the back over there. I'm just trying to fill it out, trying to make it look as natural as I can. Try to keep the glue out of there. And I just keep messing with these and making them. natural as we can. I think you spend most of the time just fiddling with it and making, making it look what you want it to. Let's see, we have a... I think I need a... You can't really cut them all off at once. You kind of have to cut them and put on what you want as you go. It would be nice if it was already pre-cut. It would be a lot easier. with the shorter blooms on them. It's a lot easier to stick them in there than the long ones. If you stick them to each other, then they, they stay in a little better. Let's get some woody. Put it in there. I really like this stuff. I like using the ivy too, which has the brown stems because it looks more natural. And I'm always on the lookout for something new. I don't care where it's at, what store it's in. <laughs> Everybody has something different. And I always look at the finished product, too, because sometimes I like the frame or I like the wreath or whatever. And I just take it home and I rip it all apart and then put it together again and make it look completely different. start 
put some more purple in there. Hopefully this looks purple today. I tried to adjust the camera color yesterday. I don't know how successful I was. Sometimes you have to manipulate these stems too. So I try to get this foam in there so it has something to grab onto. So I think I'll pop my birdhouse in there now. That way I can see exactly where I need to place everything. Smash it in there. Let me put some more color in there so it won't matter as much. Let's get some purple going. I have some white flowers, but I think I think we're doing okay with the white. I'm not liking that. Let me get some tall purple and lighter purple. I like when the bunches look a little realistic. That, doesn't that look realistic? More so than just regular. Take these apart. Some of the stems are wrapped, some of the high end, some of the ones are a little bit more expensive. They're wrapped with floral wire. You were giving the dogs a bath, Mary. It's more like the dogs were giving you one. So we're just gonna try and pull these apart. And then we can stick them in there. Let's see, I like this light color. Stick this in the back. like a wiener. Oh, we took a picture the other day of the geese flying over. I'm so happy. There has been so many flocks this year. It's just awesome. I know a lot of our friends up in the mountains are still snowed in or it's been raining a horrible amount up there so they're not happy with us right now because we have sunshine i'm glad we've gotten so much rain though and snow this year How's that looking, guys? Okay, stick some on the side. 
side over there. I love these. They grow together really fast, so you can pop them out real, real quickly. There. I have some of these little flowers. I'm too crazy about them. Though. I can't put bigger ones in there because there's it would just throw it off too much. Let's see if we can put this in. Put a different kind of white one in there. Maybe it needs another purple. Put some more purple and then white. Uh, lighter. Yeah, we don't have one of these in there. I didn't think I was able to go on this morning. My allergies are so bad. My I couldn't even see what I was looking at. My eyes were just tearing up really bad. And I finally had to take some allergy medicine. Make sure I look at the back side too. I've been putting these in. Looks good. So now all there is to do is just keep adding some flowers, but I think I want to put this bow on first. I made this one yesterday and then. I just put it together. I always put my bows together with pipe cleaners because it's just a lot easier putting them on. And I don't like the fact that when you put them on with wire, that I have to take it down. The wire just sticks out everywhere. And I don't like that. It doesn't look very good. So I switched over to using pipe cleaners and I match it to the color of the bow so it's not so obvious that it's on there. So I'm just and it makes it easier to move around if you've got to move it. And you really have to use wire ribbon for these too. Is it getting there? Let's see. And then I got these signs. And they're easy to put in. You just pop them in and you can Paint them if you want. I thought it would look better if it was just natural. It's not liking it there. There we go. And I got this butterfly. I have a little dowel and I just stuck it on the dowel. So I'm just going to set it in here. See where I want it. Oh, 
gonna put a little bit more greenery in the bottom here. What do you think? Everyone's been awfully quiet this morning. I think I just need to fill it a little bit here and there. Make sure you stay tuned to our Facebook page because every Tuesday morning at 1030, we're going to be doing a live on different things. I have quite a list now of all the upcoming lives that we're going to do. Try to keep everybody busy. Without looking, everybody. Pull some more of these apart. <laughs> okay. It's not so bad after you get them pulled off of the bunch because and you can just snip them with scissors, they're not so hard. Just gotta hold it in there. You have to be careful with the plastic ones after you've taken them apart from the stem because if you get them too close to the glue gun then they'll melt before you even get them in there. I've done that many, many times. Get today <laughs> went, went together pretty quick, huh? Okay, that's it. Went together really fast. I'm surprised. So, if you want to get a supplies list, you can just go to the website at 2LJ Design and click on the blog. Sign up for our free library, it doesn't cost you anything. And then you can download the instruction sheet. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day today and come back and see us next Tuesday morning at 10.30. Bye-bye.